You've seen this animation style everywhere. From top creators to major brands, it's the look that dominates social media right now. Today, I'm revealing the secrets and the workflow to achieving such edits. Let's get started. First things first, let's set up our stage. We made our background a nice, clean, pale green. Now for our text. Let's create our first text player by right-clicking, selecting New, and then Text. We'll need four main text players for this design. Select the bottom text layer. In the Character panel, we'll choose a strong, bold font. I'm using Hevitas for this. We'll type our first word, Raw. Now select the layer above it and type Engage. Moving up again, we'll type Cut. And for the top layer, let's type Refine. Make sure the text color is set to the same pale green as our background for now. With our words in place, let's position them. Select the Engage layer and drag it towards the top. Grab the Cut layer and place it in the middle. And finally, move the raw layer towards the bottom, stacking them vertically to create our core layout. Time to bring in our centerpiece. I'm dragging in this silhouette illustration. To make it pop, we'll give it a drop shadow. But first, let's make it fit our color scheme. In the Effects and Presets panel, search for the tint effect and apply it. We'll map the black to our pale green background color. Next, search for Drop Shadow and add that as well. A little shadow gives it just enough depth to lift it off the page. Great design is all about the details. Let's add some descriptive text. I'll create a new text layer and I have some text ready to paste in. We'll head over to the Character panel and dial in the settings. Let's go with a smaller font size and adjust the leading to make the lines of text sit comfortably. We'll position this paragraph neatly off to the side. Here's where we add the motion. Select the four main text layers, Refine, Cut, Engage, and Raw. We're going to use the Atom X plugin to quickly apply a text animation. Under Opacity and Position, I'll choose this basic Up and In preset. One click and all four layers animate in with a clean, staggered effect. This is way faster than keyframing by hand. Now, let's take this flat design and give it life in 3D space. We need to activate the 3D switch, this little cube icon, for every single one of our layers. Once they're all 3D, we'll add a camera. Right-click, New, Camera. The default 50mm preset is perfect. Now here's the most important trick for easy camera control. Create a null object. Make the null 3D, and then, using the pick whip, parent the camera to the null. This null is now our master camera controller. Let's animate our camera. Select the null and hit P for position. Click the stopwatch to set our first keyframe. Now move about three seconds down the timeline and increase the Z position value. This pushes our camera backward, revealing the entire scene. To make this move feel smooth and cinematic, select both keyframes and use a plugin like Flow to apply an ease in and ease out curve. This simple step transforms a robotic movement into a graceful, professional animation. See that? The easing makes all the difference, giving our animation a beautiful, natural rhythm. It's time for our main headline. Create a new text layer and type, People Will Always Need. We'll position this front and center. Now for the payoff line. Create another text layer and type, Video Editors. This is our hook, so we need to make it stand out. Let's create some visual hierarchy with our fonts. For video editors, I'm switching to a more elegant serif font, Playfair Display in bold italic. We'll change the color to black and bump up the font size significantly. This contrast between the bold sans serif font and the stylish serif font immediately draws the eye and adds a touch of class. Adjust things up a bit more. Let's animate this headline to match the rest of our scene. We'll select our two new text layers, head back to Atom X, and apply the same animation preset for consistency. After applying it, we can slide the keyframes on the timeline to perfectly time the reveal with our camera's movement. We're in the home stretch. It's time for the final polish that separates good work from great work. Create a new adjustment layer and place it on top of everything. An adjustment layer applies any effects to all the layers beneath. 
We'll use the Boris FX Continuum Suite for this. Let's add a vignette to darken the edges, posterize time to create a subtle stylized motion, and a touch of chromatic aberration to add a cinematic high-end feel. To add some texture, I'm dropping in a video overlay of dust and scratches. The trick here is the blend mode. Set the layer's blend mode to screen or color dodge. This makes all the black in the video disappear, leaving only the white particles to float beautifully over our scene. One last detail, an organic light leak. Create a new large black shape layer, rotate it slightly. Now add a heavy blur effect. I'm using BCC blur and cranking it up. Go to the shape layer's transform properties, hit T for opacity and decrease it to 50%. This subtle 3D shadow makes the whole piece feel more alive. In the next video, I will break down how I did the second part of the reel. Stay tuned!